Today's morning minute, kingdom living is waiting for the Lord's instructions. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for, looking for, seeking for the Lord's instructions. You're pausing to consult his will before acting. You're seeking the wisdom of God before any human knowledge. How would you like the Lord to work for you? Then wait, then wait upon the Lord. And we read in in Isaiah 64, 4, and three different translations. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any God beside you. Who does this? Who acts for the one who waits for him. And in the New Living Translation. For since the world began, no one has seen or heard of such a God as ours, who works for those who wait for him. From of old, no one has heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen a God beside you who works and shows himself active on behalf of him who earnestly waits for him. Isaiah 64, 4. Those who earnestly are seeking the Lord by waiting will see, will see the demonstration of God working through them. God acts and shows himself to those who are waiting, who are waiting for his instructions. What are the benefits of waiting for the Lord's instructions? We read that in Isaiah 40, 31 in the Passion Translation. But they, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's Isaiah 40, 31 in the King James Version. And then in the uh, AMPC, but those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift up their wings and mount up close to God as, as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. And then in the Passion Translation, but those who wait for Yahweh's grace will expect experience divine strength. They will rise up on on soaring wings and fly like eagles, run the race without growing weary, and walk through life without giving up. So here are the benefits of waiting, waiting for the Lord's instruction. You will experience divine strength. You'll raise up and soar and fly in the supernatural heavenly presence and fellowship with the Lord. You'll run and not get weary. You'll walk through life and not give up. When you wait for, wait for the Lord, you will know and experience God's love, which will cause you to run without getting weary and soar in the supernatural abundance of God's overwhelming presence in your life. Kingdom living is waiting for the Lord's instructions. Amen and amen.